<laughs> we got these two props there. I forgot my mask, so they there. <laughs> so they're standing there. Yes, yeah, yes. Right. Yeah, yes, fire. <laughs> well, they think I, well, they think they got me thinking paranoid that I can't uh, wear my wear go outside without a mask. Well, so now you're gonna see people walking out without any mask on, right? You know this shit, right? So why you think that is, huh? <laughs> Why do you think that is? What do you think happened? They basically walked out of the house without any mask on. Yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys Again, how they can influence you, right? Like, for example, influence me to not take my mask when I'm leaving, and then, you know, uh, after I became conscious of it, because I walked almost a damn block and a half, and as I'm walking back now, everybody's coming in my direction is not wearing any mask, right? So again, see, people, you know, you wanna, like I said, these things are not coincidental. Right? These things are not coinciden coincidental. This is what they can do with this technology. Alright? Silence on the spectrum. The use of microwave and radio wave for the transmissions of command. Alright? Now, as I'm walking, there's another guy walking over across the street. Over there, wearing red. Right? Looking into the apartment building. <laughs> it was a as I'm walking out, so I gotta switch the camera. Now, look, he's looking up at the sky. Look, look, look. look. He's, his head is up, looking up at the sky. All right? And again, see, they use the technology on, on the ignorance. All right? Ignorant people who believe in religion. I'm thinking that it's some supernatural force when it is not. Okay, it's not supernatural force. All right, and as I walk by, the song that he's playing on his phone is by Gregory Isaac called Night Nurse. One of the songs that they will use in my targeting. Okay, so you see the red theme play out now. Look, sticking his finger in his ears. Okay. Take your phone out, bro. Yeah, take your phone. Why are you trying to show? Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Uh. That's it. And I slick. Exposing all this shit. No, they don't like it. When they ass start getting targeted too, they'll they'll they realize. They'll understand. And you know what? They ain't gonna be able to say anything. Right? Because they've been manipulated and put it and then trapped. Oh yeah, see, I got this in the white guy. Why? Because I was just talking to Pam about how you know, we as black people need to be careful when dating and dating and marrying white people because of the high uh, divorce rate when it comes to interracial marriages between black and white. And the reason that being is because most white people will marry and get into a relationship with black people based on fetishization of black people. Right? And black people, especially black women, they marry out of their group for economic reasons. And black men, they marry out of their group based on this uh, trophy wife mindset that they have been conditioned into them 
when it comes to white women and whiteness. Okay? And then between both black men and black women, white is somehow superior. They've been conditioned that way deep into their psyche. So they have an unconscious bias amongst them, even amongst themselves, to themselves, right? And each other. And that's the truth. So this is why, you know, we as a, as a people need some serious therapy to root out all of this negative conditioning. Okay? Because we're always trying to be up into something, particularly when we're not wanted. And we'll fight to the nail, even to our, our, our own detriment. So understanding these things is key and is important. Okay? And we cannot just keep on existing and surviving without understanding the deep psychological impact and conditioning and how it has impacted us and our mindset today. See, because like I said, I'm always speak the truth. Okay? Like I said, you can date whoever you want to date. You can marry whoever you want to date, whoever you want to marry. But make sure when you do date or marry that person, that they can identify with you also. Even if they might be different from you. But they're willing to learn. And they're willing to understand your struggles. What you've been going through. Okay? That's important. And we got to understand and realize that. I'm back on the